Hey, Rob from MyPPCTraining.com, and today I'm going to walk you through how to increase your quality score quickly and efficiently and what actually factors in to quality score and how it works. All right, so you should be logged into your AdWords account, as always. That's where we live, guys. And today, like I said in the intro, we're going to go through quality score. And quality score is important because it actually is going to determine how much you pay per click. And if you have a high quality score, you're going to pay lower. If you have a shitty quality score, you're going to pay a lot more, sometimes up to 10 or 20 times more than somebody else. So there's a couple different factors that, that um, quality score is made up of. It's click-through rate, ad relevance, and the landing page experience. Now, th these are things that we can control for the most part. And I mean, no one really knows how much weight each factor, you know, takes takes into consideration in, in Google's algorithm. So you kind of just gotta you gotta do as as much as you can for each one of them. So ha first off, to show you your quality score, go in your keywords, and I think I already have it added, but we do. But if you want to add it, you would come up to here, your columns, modify columns, attributes, quality score, apply. And that's how you would add it to see what your quality scores are. And ideally, it's 10, 10 of 10 is the best. 1 of 10 is the shittiest. And I think we have a couple of ones. Yeah. So, so we need to do a better job on these. So for this campaign, this is our white label campaign. It's going to our homepage of our website, which is clicksgeek.com. And our website is tightly themed to white label PPC for agencies, um, reseller stuff. And, and you can see like the landing page experience. We, we work our keywords into the description, the um, to titles, image tags. I mean, you got to do all of that stuff. You got to work your keywords all throughout the page. And it's just really important. And the H1 tags, the H2, all that stuff. So that's how you're going to do your landing page experience. You're just going to work your keywords and you're going to do keywords that you wouldn't really aren't really targeting like outside of like maybe some uh, like what would be for us. Some like uh, you ever hear of LSI keywords, like somatic indexing. So keywords like that that are closely related to what you're going after. But go I mean, you could still pepper them throughout the site. I mean, Google's going to know what they are right away and that they're related to your site anyway, but it just looks more natural. So that's how you're going to increase your landing page experience. You're going to pepper your keywords you're going after throughout the landing page, throughout the website. So your ad relevance, obviously, if we go to ad groups, this is pretty self-explanatory. If we're targeting white label PPC agency, we can go to our ads. And we're going to see here white label PPC agency in our ad. Usually it's in our, in our um, headline one, and then we drop it here in the URL path. And that's pretty much you can put it in the description. You see, we should drop agency in here again. And there, there's a couple different ways you can do this, but it's very, very important. Google's only thing they care about is relevancy for their users. So the more relevant you can be with structuring your ad groups, keywords, ads, and landing pages all in sync across with the same keywords and stuff, you're going to have a higher quality score and you're going to pay like so much less than everybody else. It's wild. So that's ad relevance. So we went through landing page experience, we went through ad relevance. Now, click-through rate is also very important. What the hell are we doing here? Oh, ad groups. So we're going to go through our click-through rate. As you can see here, click-through rate, 15, 23, 2.3. That's not that great. We want to bump that to at least over 2.5. 11, 7, 25. That's really good. So... You wanna you wanna obviously be as high as possible with click through rate. You don't ever want to be lower than two point five percent. In my opinion, I think that should be your absolute floor. Um, the higher the click through rate, like I said, the higher your quality scores are going to be. So it's really important that you um, that you work on that. And the, e the easiest way to get the, the highest click through rate is just to have your ads be in sync with your keywords. So if you go through our ad groups, you're going to see white label Google AdWords. Okay. Where's something that's clicked? There we go. So what did Google AdWords, Google AdWords is three clicks, nine impressions, thirty-three point three percent click-through rate. I mean that's pretty crazy. So that's just stuff that you can work on in the campaign over time. 
but it's really, really important that you have all three of these things in sync. CTR, ad relevance, landing page experience. So, I mean, we don't really know which one carries the most weight, so you got to do as much as you can with all of them. And, and, and like I said, an, an AdWords campaign is never a finished product. It's constantly evolving and always getting better. So make sure that you guys are always working on this stuff. And even like even us, we have a lot of, we have a lot of torque on here. I mean, where was our quality scores? Like we want to, ideally we want to be at seven to ten. So you can see here we got some stuff to work on too. And we're gonna get to that. But anyways, if you guys like the video, subscribe to our channel. Give me a thumbs up below and check out the description links. And I'll see you in the next video or in the Facebook group.